Mabuhay! Hello everyone! Mabuhay Dolls here! Today, we are reviewing a Barbie Fashionista doll! The doll is the Blue Beauty Fashionista doll! So this will be a D-Box review, which means you will see the doll out of its box. So, let's talk about the box first! As you can see, she did look a bit messy on the box, but I didn't really care that much since we're going to debox her. So, the box is really simple. It's a window type box, and usually I'm a fan of those type of boxes, but this one, not really. I'll tell you guys why, but let's talk about the details on the box first. On the front, you can see the word fashionista and boast on the right side. On the bottom are some fashionista dolls. One is the Blue Beauty. I'm also interested in buying the African American doll in the middle. On its lower side is the Barbie Fashionista logo. And on the bottom are some warning signs. And this is how the side looks like. She also has some floral details on her back. On the back, it shows all of the Fashionista dolls from this batch. This was when they introduced the new bodies for the male candles, and it states which body type the doll has. And the other words that you see are warnings and other infos in different languages. The back looks different in some countries. Try watching other reviews of the same doll and you'll see what I mean. Now, the reason why I don't like the box is the plastic is very cheap. And it's glued to the cardboard on the back, so that means you can't touch or inspect the doll without the need of totally opening the box. And now, let's talk about the doll. Okay, so before I start, I'm already going to talk about the negatives about her. And I tried my best to be light and be positive all throughout the video because I was really so mad before doing this review. The biggest problem about her is her hair. It's super cheap. See how big the spaces are between the hairline on the front? That looks so disturbing to me. And I was so shocked to see how many bald spots she has and it's so visible. I was so mad when I first saw this. I literally wanted to throw her. But thank god, I calmed down a bit, but I'm still so disappointed with her hair. The reason why I started collecting Barbie dolls is that because they were fully rooted while the fake dolls had this big bald spot in the middle of their scalp, and now that's happening to Barbie. Here's an example of an older fashionista doll. See the better quality? Also, her hair right now has been washed and brushed. It was a bit sticky because of the glue on her head. There's not that much glue though. I'm still going to restyle her hair and I might show it in this video too. I think we should move on to her face. Her face is actually very very gorgeous, one of the main reasons why I bought her. And she has the perfect eyebrows, not too thick or thin. I love her eyelashes, it gave a big impact on the doll. She has this little amount of brown eyeshadow although I hope that she had more. And she's also looking at the side. She also has this nude pinkish lip color. I love her lips even though I'm not a big fan of open mouth dolls. Next is the accessories. Here are her eyeglasses. I really really like them. I love that it's not those glasses with holes in it. Those are so weird. Also, it's a bit easy to break, so be careful when playing with this doll. Her shoes are amazing! I love it so much. I love the color. Perfect color for the outfit. And who thought that this would actually be a perfect color combination with the dress? I also like the Barbie logo on the bottom of the shoes. They are so cute. Now, let's talk about her gorgeous and amazing dress. She is wearing a white tank top with some ruffles and a tan skirt. I love it. It's just one piece, meaning it's all connected to each other. The closure on the back is actually Velcro. I like the quality of the skirt, but I was a bit shocked on the top. 
I thought of a different fabric when I first saw her promo pictures. You might need to use a flattening iron for the top. The outfit together is perfect. You know that the designer really thought hard for the details. The shoes and glasses were perfect for the dress. The hair color is a unique touch. And overall, her fashion is the main reason why I liked and loved her. For me, she has one of the best fashion from the fashionista line. Now, let's do a quick check on her body. And I'm not a fan of this though. She looks very stiff and the material is very, very cheap. Plus, there's only articulation on the head, shoulders, and on the hips. Also, the body doesn't even have a shape. Would have liked if she had a curvy shape. But I do like that her elbows, knees, and ankles are visible and does look real. So here's the transformation that I did for her. It's very simple and I failed a little bit because I didn't boil wash her curls. So yeah, that's it for her transformation. So overall, the only problem about her is her hair and maybe the body. Other than that, she's a very gorgeous doll that I recommend but you need to inspect her first so we can avoid some defects. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked it and mabuhay!